My name is Ron Carlos, and I am a member of the Salwar P. Maricopa Indian community, and I am one of the last traditional potters for the community. Being the one of the last potters is kind of something, a tradition that I feel I need to keep going. My teacher, Phyllis Serna, every time I would see her, she would always say, you know, are you making pots? Nobody's making pots. And it was true. I mean, there was no more potters. All the potters, the few potters that were remaining had already quit. They quit making, they were too old and they, they just stopped doing it. I really make pots in her memory, you know, because I feel like, well, I need to keep her going, you know, that she taught me these things and I need to, to keep it going. I can't make plastic, <laughs> I can't make metal, but I can still make pottery. So uh, it's, a, some, it's a tradition that I, I feel I need to hold on to and try to teach as well mm -hmm. to as many people as I can. <laughs> this exhibition here is uh, featuring three artists, Christopher Jagman, David Emmett Adams, and Ron Carlos. I think I make good pots, but I don't like to say, I mean, I know there's a lot of other better potters from other places, but I'm okay with them putting me in there and saying, you know, he makes nice pots or whatever. <laughs> I just don't like speaking about myself that way because it sounds like I'm showing off and I don't want to be like that, you know. We all got to learn how he makes his pottery and we got to play with the clay that he makes and, and just learn what was involved. Making the pot is the fun part, the easy part. That's like an hour to two hours to make a pot. This pot, although it looks reddish or brown, it's actually a white pot with a red slip on the outside, red clay paint on the outside. So it's like a little chunk of chunk of clay here. Just a little bit of clay that's been, uh, when we gather it, we, uh, we wash it and we sift it through a cloth and then what settles to the bottom makes like a sludge and that's, that's what that is. But usually I let it dry out into a cake and then I just use chunks of it to, when you're ready, just rehydrate a chunk of it and that's what you spread on the pot. Then you gotta fire them. <laughs> You gotta cut wood, and you can spend all that time making one pot and then have it blow up in the fire. It'll just go boom. Ron Carlos is just a really nice, um, sensitive, quiet guy that you know you just feel comfortable with right away. It's part of me now, you know. It's it is a major portion of my life, and I don't know where I would be if I didn't make pots. 